rise above. Arisa shirts and trousers. South India's number one travel brand. You know you are special when you are with JT Holidays. Shah Sweetness and Love this festival season with Arya Ranan Pawan Sweets and Snacks. Hari Shrutaman, welcome to Kalata Plus. It's a real pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I've just been thinking it's it it took so long to you know meet you. in an interview not for lack of trying because you know typically what happens is you want to meet everybody as an i want to meet everybody but typically when there's a movie or or something you know you actually i don't know how to access people like yeah. i know there is somebody called harish shotaman yeah. i know that he's an interesting person he should looks like an interesting actor but how do i reach him it's it's the same feeling here i'm like okay i've been i've been seeing uh, bharat sir's interview all over and uh, he's interviewing everybody but i am not able to get a, you know chair of him so i have also felt that so i think there is there is that that vacuum yeah, but it's okay I, i'm I, glad it happened today yeah and now you have my number <laughs> so Absolutely. for future interviews Absolutely. yeah so there are people who describe themselves i mean there's a movement out there of people who they say that i don't like being called a supporting actor I'm I'm an actor. My job is to act. Yes, the character may not be the protagonist, but I I don't like being called a supporting actor as if I'm like propping up like a like a pillar propping up a bridge or something like that. Okay. I I I think I'm hearing this for the first time, you know. Now, but uh, see, you know, when it comes to work, yes, I am an actor. But I do my work. You call me whatever. you know you call me supporting actor you call me character actor or you know whatever 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 the term is but i always say you know the work in a movie speaks for itself or okay. speaks for me you know that's all you know after that what people who see the film and what i've done in a film and if they feel you know if they could connect and if it is uh, if it is good then they they connect with me right. you know and and i don't think it doesn't matter to me you doesn't matter what you call right yeah you call me a supporting actor actor character actor what right. about villain uh, negative character cop. Uh, yeah cop uh, antagonist you call me whatever yeah yeah but but you're chiefly uh, you know for a while villain or cop you know that 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 keeps coming to you yeah I, I think I, partly that's because of the way you you know you are right yeah. it's like you you seem tall strong all that yeah so i started in 2010 and uh, 2010 was my first film uh, i it, it's a very arty film uh, i can't say the name uh, yeah it's called it's called ta yeah okay and uh, no, no i know that i, ah, I okay <laughs> okay yeah, yeah, yeah my friends do make fun of me okay uh, hey is it verun ta Or is, or, it, or is it that? <laughs> yeah, you know that. So, just. so after that film, uh, for three years, I was I was literally at home. Nothing worked out, and in that in those three years, I I was I was craving for work so much. I was so desperate to work, and uh, after three years, I got a call from uh, Duet Movies, uh, Prakash Rao's office for Gauru, yeah. which Radha Mohan Singh was directing, and I just grabbed it and. since then after that pandinaadu happened and after pandinaadu there is no looking back i i was running like one mad dog because i just wanted to work you know with tamil telugu not much of malayalam but tamil and telugu i was running like a mad dog this happened went on went on for like 5 years and suddenly in 2017 and 2018 one day you know somebody spoke to me and it just hit me and i felt okay that's it i i am i'm in a box right now like doing cop roles negative roles only these are coming to me and the costumes are changing but the characters are the same and suddenly one day somebody when when they spoke to me that's when i realized and then i said no i don't want to i don't want to be here i i want to do i don't i just don't want to be in uniform and you know doing these loud characters so 2018 i didn't take up anything any movie maybe uh, tamil or telugu i didn't take up anything 2018 onwards slowly uh, you know i i did i took up a surel then uh, uh, i did a malayalam film that's uh, yet to come on one of these odd i i uh, played a, a, a father dying because of cancer i lost around 14 kgs because of uh, you know i i wanted to break that 
You're also in Manoradangal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Manoradangal. Exactly. So that happened after that 2018. Yeah. So slowly things started changing. Suril happened uh, after 2018. So Suril, it gave me a you know another uh, space. So which I'm happy about. But this typecast or you know it, it, that's like you know putting us in a in a box and we are and boxed in a in a, in a, in a closed space. So I'm I'm slowly breaking that. It's it's been happening from 2018. After 2018, I slowly I've been careful, the the films which I've been taking, and slowly I'm I'm breaking out of that uh, space. And and ARM is also you know one of that films. Right. All the languages that you work, give me one character that you really like doing because of X reason. You know. I'm sure you would have watched Maya Nadi. Yes. So, Mainadi, I, I played that role. So that's also with uh, Tovino. So uh, ARM is my third film with Tovino. Okay. Uh, Mainadi, Kalki, and uh, now yeah. ARM. So in Mainadi, um, that character is very, very close to me. That's a very, very special because because of the whole process, you know, uh, director Ashikabu, uh, writers, Shampushkaran and Dilish uh, Nair. The, the, the process was really, you know, interesting and uh, it's a very satisfying journey that was and uh, even the character you know uh, when when tovino is going to be shot in the in the end there is a conversation between elover sisar and me so that conversation is like you know there is not much of dialogue but there is so much conveyed in that that scene is the best you know for me in in, in my career i would say uh, so Mainadi is one of my favorite films. Right, Telugu. I would say Sri Mantudu. And there's a film called Krishna Gadi Veera Premakada. Okay. Uh, Nani's film. So it's a, it's a very uh, psychic character. And I really enjoy that. Uh, Hanu Raghupudi was the director. And uh, that, was a, that was a good, uh, that, that period was he, was, he was trying to, you know, create that character slowly, day by day, day by day, day by day. So that was uh, with with my looks and the way he speaks and you know how he behaves and all that. So I really enjoyed that. Right. And in Tamil. Tamil. Andi Nadu. Okay. You know, recently Mano Radhangal released, and uh, one of these journalists. I was so happy. It was like a validation for me. So he said, Harish, uh, you know, your your eyes are very. Uh, you know, people notice your eyes. He said, in Pandinada, there is a scene where you kill uh, a guy and there is a glitter on your eyes. And, and that shows that, uh, you know, that, that, that anger, rage and all that. Maya Nadi, you're so, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, when, when Tovino is going through a situation, you feel, you feel bad for that guy and, and there is a glitter and that, that reflects there. And uh, Manora Dingal, there is so much love and uh, you know kindness in your eyes. So when he said that, I, you know, I I realized then, oh, okay. So people notice this, and it it it's like a validation for me. And I was I was so happy when I when when that guy told me about that. Does this validation come often in the sense that, and I'm guilty of this as well. What happens typically is when you're writing a review, right? Uh, you typically notice. Uh, the overall plot, the way the screenplay is put together or stuff like that. But you don't get much space to write about the, the maybe the hero is pretty much it. If the heroine has some kind of a role, yeah. Very rarely does a supporting actor break through to the extent that you feel that, wow, this is like a, like, you know, something. So it mostly, it mostly you know, and I'm including myself in this list, it's like, maybe one or two lines as opposed to you know thing does that kind of bother you like you know that that one line that that really makes my day you're being diplomatic no i am not i am not i'm not uh, i uh, do you remember the film ini uttaram i think you saw the film yeah. and i think you wrote about it i don't remember i i've, I've lost track of the and, and 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 you wrote about uh, wrote about me you mentioned my name i was so happy because it's it's just it's not it, I don't need a paragraph or, you know, it's just that somebody has noticed and 
you know, it is it is put it uh, that person has put it on a paper or or put it in an interview or on a, or a review. They, you know, that much is enough. And that makes me happy. You know, I'm like, okay, you know, I've done this film and somebody has noticed it and I'm happy. Nice. So you're you're an optimist. Absolutely. Like a one hundred glass hundred like glasses full. Absolutely. Yeah. So even that that but except for the three years you were sitting at home after. Yeah. So. So that three years, I'll, I'll tell you, there is the, I need to tell you a little bit, I'll have to take you a little uh, before that. Uh, so I was a cabin crew uh, till 2010. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that, let me just interrupt you, because I'm able to see you as any kind of like actor, like a role, you know, like I'm able to see you as this, doing that, doing being a cop, being a villain. Somehow I'm not able to see you as part of an airline cabin crew. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I can't see you. I just like, it's like, how did you do that? You know, it's just... What was the job like? I was a cabin crew. Like, I was flying between... Uh, so, I was... Uh, when I finished my college, uh, um, I, I joined an advertising agency in Chennai, and uh, I got... Uh, I finished the, my training period, and they sent me to Coimbatore, and my first client was Paramount uh, President. I, I had to go and meet him. When I met him, he asked me, when did you join this company? I said, uh, you're my first client. He said, I'll give you a job. Will you join here? I, I asked him, okay. What is the job about? He said, cabin crew. I said, I've never flown before. Till 2005, I've never got on a flight. So I told him, I've never flown. He said, doesn't matter. I said, I'm a commerce student. You know, I've not studied anything related to this. He said, no problem. You know, there is training for you. And I was out of college. I was. I grew up in a village uh, in Coimbatore. So, so for me, this airline thing, this cabin crew, being in a flight was, super, was exciting. super exciting. And and good money, you know. Uh, from where I, the, from the first company, and all this excited me. I, I didn't think of anything. I just joined. So, when you say cabin crew, you mean like a serving, yeah, you know, food yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. Okay, I've done that. And every time when I went, now, you know, I'm I'm flying to between cities, and every time I get into a flight, I every flight I imagine myself there. Every flight. So it, it's a, it's a very that, good even as in that could have still been me that way. I I, I see myself when the when the crew are walking around or you know they're getting things or serving people or talking to people. I I, I see that I, I I see myself there, you know or or maybe I'm thinking about those days, you know. So uh, it's a, it's a very good feeling. So so cabin crew. And then uh, from Paramount, I got onto uh, British Airways. I was with British Airways, and then. Uh, and one fine day, I met my uh, first movie director. Uh, I didn't know he was a director. He came home to meet my brother, and uh, uh, I introduced myself, and I had to leave. So I didn't know he was a director. So he had asked my brother whether your brother will be interested in acting. So that's how the first film happened. So I didn't plan. I didn't have any idea of you know getting into films, or I didn't think of it. So when my family told me, see, not everybody gets an opportunity. So you're getting a call, you're getting an opportunity. Why don't you explore? We are all working. I have three elder brothers and a sister. So they're all working. They said, we're all working. You're getting an opportunity in the film industry. Why don't you give it a try? If it doesn't happen, then we're all there for you. So you know, my... this is the reverse of what usually happens. Usually somebody has to convince their family to, you know, yeah. the family's like damn upset about, do a regular job, why are you getting into films? Yeah. <laughs> yeah this so, is the exact opposite of that. Absolutely. So, when, when uh, the direction team, when the director told me that, you know, you have to resign, you can't work there. I, I, first I told them, okay, I'll, I'll take three months off and I'll, I'll work in the film and I'll get back to work. He said, no, you know, you'll have to grow your nails and grow your hair and you have to get dark and all that. So I said, no, I'm, I'm not re uh, resigning. But my family, uh, they, they convinced me, they said, no, give it a try. You know, if it doesn't happen, it's okay. But when I did my film, uh, it didn't do well. It was in the theaters only for a week. Uh, so after that, it was a waiting period. And that waiting period kind of, you know, made me think a lot. And I, I started getting into this, this, this movie and, you know, why is it not working? Or I started meeting people. And somewhere I got onto a point where, no, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to run for this. I'm going to do whatever it takes. It's okay, how, however long it's going to take. And I started running. And there was a point where I thought, you know, 
I, I, I don't think uh, this is happening. Movies will always be here. Cinema is always going to be here, but not my age or, you know, my mom is there with me and uh, all these financial crises and, uh, you know, family pressure and all that uh, for marriage and all that. So there was a point where I was thinking, okay, maybe it's not time for me. And that's when I, I have a mentor, Uday Kumar sir, uh, the sound uh, engineer. So he's my mentor. So he he make, he did the sound mixing for my first film. So he always used to appreciate me. So he said, uh, no, no, try, 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 try. So, uh, so he always uh, had appreciated me, uh, motivated me. So he he told I told him one day that sir, three years sir, I can't sit at home anymore. So that's when he said, okay, wait for another ten more days, and then you carry on with whatever decision. And I don't know what happened in that 10 days. I got the call from uh, Prakarhad sir. I went there, the movie, uh, I signed the film. And from there, there is no looking back. And that's when I told you, you know, I was, I was desperate. I, I was craving for work. And from there, I started running. And, you know, before getting into films, I didn't prepare myself. Uh, Nowadays, now, now I think, you know, if I had known I'm getting into films, I would have prepared myself. I would have gone for, you know, acting classes or theater workshops or, you know, all those. But I couldn't do that. You learned on the job. Yeah. I, I, so, so that's what happened. That's my, that's my journey. And I'm here today. I'm... You know, everybody goes through down periods, right? Yeah. But with films... Like in those, like you do your first film, it does not do well, and then, see, in in regular job, let's say you're laid off or something, you have a computer degree or you have some kind of engineering degree or something like that. There's there's good chance, at least there's a fair chance you'll get another job somewhere else. Okay. Right. It's like you go from that. With films, it's very uncertain yeah. because you don't know when it'll happen or whether it'll happen. See, there's the when factor, whether it'll whether. happen factor. When there's so much uncertainty, how do you hold on to some kind of positivity? Even if you're the most optimistic person on earth, yeah. right? I mean, how do you do that? You know, when people say or, or somebody say that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try in films, I say, you know, movies is uncertain. You know, there is no certainty. So it's uncertain in every levels, you know, career-wise, uh, you know, work-wise, health-wise accidents and all that it's it's uncertain uh, so how do I stay optimistic I really don't know but I, I I just kept telling myself after that three years those three years I, I, I you know that that space was a little tough for me because uh, after my college immediately I got in this job and then and then suddenly this this break and I didn't know where to go and and what else to look at? Uh, and when I was in college, I thought I would become a you know basketball player pro. You know, I would pursue that because I was a basketball player. But uh, when I was in second year college, I understood okay, no, this is not going to be my career. So, you know, after my first film, that was like a you know I didn't know I, I was lost. I, I didn't know what to do. Uh, after that, I I don't know that 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 those three years taught me a lot and I, I changed as a person also I guess and I, 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 I've, I've become calmer I've become you know optimistic I don't know how I don't know how you know I didn't I didn't do anything for it I didn't do or I didn't work uh, you know do some workout or any any kind of thing but I, I just I think that that three years changed me as a person for, for good I guess. You know, I ask this question a lot in the interviews that I do, but it's mainly because I I think it's sometimes inspirational to know how a person faces an uncertain future. As opposed to, I have a degree, okay, right now I'm not getting a job, but I know that at some point I'll, I'll, I'll manage something. You know, this field, like you said, is so uncertain. Yeah. So it always amazes me that people come and say, I want to be an actor, I want to be a director, I want to be this, I want to be that. You know, the technical fields are relatively easier. Yeah. You know, you, you join somebody as an, you know, assistant cameraman, 
uh, I'm not I'm not saying that's easy. I'm saying it's easier. Yeah. Uh, but in front of the camera uh, or director or whatever it is, that's much more difficult because Absolutely. there's like five thousand people, you know, true. waiting to true. be the next Hari True. True. So true. you know, like. Uh, yeah, as I say, I I think I I'm I'm thinking positively. It's going to be good. If something doesn't happen, no, something else is going to happen. That's how I look at it. Right, right. No, yeah. that's great. It's, it's a, that, that's a great way to look at it. Yeah. Have, has anybody, after your first film, approached you for a, like a leading role? In Uttaram, it was, it was like of a, a yeah, lead yeah. role. And there were films which uh, people did uh, speak to me for, you know, if there are uh, two lead roles and for one they had spoken, but things have not materialized. But uh, now there are you know, one or two projects, they are talking to me, but uh, I'm, I'm in a space where, um, you know, I, I like to be that character. I don't want to be that, you know, that, that lead role or, a, or a, you know, the, the hero. I want to do a good character in a, in a, in a very good story. In a, in but a good it character. also gives you more freedom. You don't have to shoulder the film. Absolutely. Right, right. Yeah, and yeah. Because otherwise it's uh, like it all becomes your fault if the film works or your, your like, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, like yeah, it yeah, all the, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, that is there, and as a person also, I think uh, 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 I, I I think I, I wanted to be uh, to the stories which are which are very rooted, you know, uh, and those kind of characters I want to play. And uh, when when there is a uh, you know um, uh, action or an opening scene for a, for a character, that's like you know I can't imagine myself there. You understand what I mean. So we first see your feet, and then, <laughs> we, we then you know, go slowly no, no, go no, no, up, no. and then you see your yeah. shoulders, yes. and then you know the back of your head, and then the Just face. Just hair flying. Yeah. Out. <laughs> <laughs> so when when I, I remember in in 2014 after Paninaru, one when the director came and told me, I said, yeah, I was injured. I can't even think of yeah, the role. I, I, I can't yeah. even. Yeah. A lead role. Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't want to try it. Yeah, no, no. no. I, I didn't want to. Yeah, I guess you're busy and... and yeah, yeah. I, I, 13, yeah, 2013 Pandinari release and after that I've been, I've been like really, really busy, yeah. really. For five years I, 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 was, I didn't just sit at home. Do you, do you, right now, do you take your breaks? Yes. Okay. So now I've started saying no to people. So, so I've started saying no to people after 2018. It was very difficult. It was very difficult to tell a person, a writer or a director that, no, sir, no, I'm, I, 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 I don't want to do this. I'm not able to, you know, connect to it or I don't want to do this cop role again and again. Oh, I don't want to do this negative role because it, it is the same role which I did and that just that costume is different. You know, I, I've started saying no now. So I'm, I'm being very careful and I'm, I'm selecting films is what uh, I would yeah. say. I'm, I'm, I'm happy this way. I'm, I'm not busy throughout the year, but I'm very happy and I'm at peace. Are you a person who comes with a plan? Or do you just let it happen on a day-to-day -day basis, whatever life brings you? I go with the flow. I haven't planned anything, so... I flunked in 10th. 10th started. And then I... Well, my cousin put me onto basketball. Uh, you know, sport. somebody listening to this is going to say, "Look, when their mother tells them you failed the exam, they're going to say, look, Harish exam failed an exam, <laughs> and look at how successful he is.'" Uh, see, failure is. You know, people look at failure as, "Oh, failure." No, you. You know that it, it, it doesn't stop there. It doesn't. But when you fail your tenth, it's like some serious business, right? Yeah, no, it's okay. So, so what? What happens? Maximum, okay, you're going to lose one. You're going to get killed by your dad and mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I, my dad and mom did. Uh, they were upset, but they were okay after 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 some time. Um, I think I, I want your family. Yeah. You know, <laughs> this is like, you know, big, do whatever you want. We'll support you. Dad and mom saying, okay, you flunked and that's okay. So you can do it again. <laughs> no, 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 they didn't, they didn't say that it's okay. But, but I'm saying, they, you know, they didn't make a fuss out of it for a long time, you know. Uh, so I, I started uh, playing basketball. I, I didn't plan that. My cousin put me there. And, and because of basketball, I got 11th uh, plus one plus two in a school, sports quota. And then because of that, I got into GRD, college Coimbato, sports quota. And nothing I planned. And I went to college, uh, so, uh, so the principal asked me, so what, what course do you want? So I said, you know, I want to play basketball. So give me the easiest course. 
because I was, I was focused on basketball. Yeah. So I said, so I did the Bachelor of Corporate Secretaryship, uh, <laughs> wow. which is equivalent to uh, BCom. So uh, I did that. And when I finished that, I did a, a one year PG course in a diploma in advertising and marketing management. And when I finished that exam, I was like, OK, now what? And then uh, the interview came and I got through that interview and then Paramount happened and then British Airways happened and then movies and then, you know, nothing I've planned. You know, it, it's a funny thing when 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 people say, OK, uh, uh, I'm, I'm planning it in, a, in this way, I, 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 I won't be able to relate to that. I think there are things, you know, things just it, it, it just happens. Is what I, I, I... You know, you're just throwing away an entire section of the self-help book industry, which says things like, you know, how to become this in X days or how to become that in that days and, you know, all those goal-oriented books. <sighs> you're like basically tossing everything out and saying, none of that works, just live for no, the No, 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 no. I, I, I said it, that's, that's the way it, it uh, I'm here. Right? You know, I didn't, I didn't plan anything. No, no, I, I get what you mean, but... You know, for instance, I I wanted to be somebody who wrote about the films. Okay. So that was a plan that I had. Okay. And my problem was I didn't know anybody in journalism and I didn't know and writing about films was not taken very seriously at that point. So how did I So, you know, there was a certain You worked for it. There, there was a certain I knew that okay, so I have to write and show that this is possible. You know, those kinds of things. So yeah. But I don't like I don't know how to do the other way. I can say basically I'm just going to have optimism it, and one day you know I'll become a film it, critic. It's the, it's the same way for me. You know, for me this worked. I'm not saying you know it has to be the same for others. Right. But for me this is how things worked, and I'm not able to think the other way. You know, the, I I, I uh, when I but when that's what's good. It's like you know we're having a debate about something that cannot be resolved. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no actual solution to this. Yeah. 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 So uh, so tell me what are the things apart from ARM, what do I look forward to? In Malayalam I've I've just finished Katanar, uh, a film by Rojan Thomas, uh, Jay Surya and Anushka Shetty and uh, Prabhupada Master, all it, it's a big film and I think uh, uh, the shoot just got over and there is a lot of uh, uh, you know, watch production in that film also that I've completed. And Kangua is uh, releasing for uh, uh, Diwali. Yeah. And What uh, do you play in that? I, I come in that, uh, the, the, the period portion, the tribal. Uh, so, in that, I... Uh, that must I, have been interesting. Yeah. At least costume-wise and all that. Cause, yeah. So, I'm completely a forest person. Okay. So, when... Uh, Director uh, Shivasa called me when he told me about it. I was super excited because it's a tribal character. Yeah, that is releasing, and uh, I did Kadesi uh, Ulagapur. Uh, I like how you held yourself back just when you felt you were going to say something more about Kanga. <laughs> you got me. Okay. Um, no, no, that's yeah. fine. That's so, <laughs> and uh, I've done a film with Kani Sir in Telugu, Kani Sir and Dandraj. Uh, so that should be releasing soon. So yeah, just waiting for uh, and uh, OG I've done in Telugu, which yeah. is which is uh, PK sir has to come back and yeah. So yeah. that is there. Nice. The it project. sounds like an interesting, like a what do you call it a buffet spread <laughs> or whatever it is. You know, you get to I'm pick glad, and choose. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you. But I'm glad things worked out. You know, because it's. Uh, uh, and I'm glad that I got to talk to you finally because you're always one of those people that, you know, you're, you have an interesting presence in yourself. But then I'm like, you want to talk to them and then you don't know how to. Yeah. And then I'm glad this finally happened. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, that's what I said. It, it took 14 years, you know, for, for me to meet you in person and, you know, sit for an interview with you. So I'm, I'm so happy and, you know, I'm, I'm glad ARM happened and I'm here today. Yeah. And so, I've taken your number. Yeah, we're just we are definitely going yeah, to be in and, touch. And all the best for the future. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you so much. Uh, lovely talking to yeah. you. Thank you. Rise above.
Arisa Shirts and Trousers. South India's number one travel brand. You know you are special when you're with GT Holidays. Shah Sweetness and Love this festival season with Arya Ranan Pawan Sweets and Snacks.